just have held a workshop on, on Copenhagen and the kind of the mobilisation for it and the actions that are going to be happening there. I guess this the network Climate Justice Action is coming from more of the perspective that the talks are failing, that they're putting false solutions forward, um, that we need to recognise indigenous people's rights, we need to recognise ecological and climate debt, um, need to reduce the consumption of the north and increase uh, equality with the south. Um, so yeah, we're more like that kind of approach, but even within that network, Climate Justice Action, there's actually like a really, really broad range of opinions and um, kind of people coming from very different backgrounds. And so this action that we've agreed for in Copenhagen uh, kind of accommodates all those different points of views and it's a way of us taking action together on stuff that we all agree on. Um, but yeah, it's more of a kind of like the COP, uh, the, the climate talks are failing and we need to make a big statement about it. So I've been involved with the, this new network which is formed called uh, Climate Justice Action um, and they're organising various actions to happen during the, uh, the climate talks in Copenhagen um, and I guess the, the main one that I've been kind of like talking about is uh, this mass action that's called Reclaim Power pushing for climate justice um, and it's going to be yeah a massive load of people trying to get into the conference centre and taking over the talks for a day and holding a, a people's summit on climate justice so it's uh, very exciting we're just trying to get loads of people to kind of come and take part in that. I think at the last count there was like uh, 17 climate camps uh, happening around the, the world this year um, and some in some places like India and uh, I think possibly Korea uh, as well as like Australia and in Europe and North America and one in Ecuador as well I think sounds really cool. Um, so yeah it's really like kind of spreading as an idea and it's obviously something that translates well to, to different countries. I think it's really great that like uh, that Wales has got its own camp now, and I hope that sort of carries on in the future. And I, I really like this idea of kind of uh, like local grassroots like camps and campaigns and organisations forming, but them them being part of like a wider movement, um, and particularly of finding like ways of different parts of that movement and different t activists from different countries supporting each other and like really uh, acting effectively together. And I think like. Some of that stuff is, is really starting to happen now and that's really, really cool.